Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Potion Craft, an all new indie game all about running a shop about making potions. Now, this is a special sponsored look at Potion Craft. Thank you to Potion Craft for providing me with a game key to actually check this game out because this is one I actually really wanted to play. Even better, they also provided me with a bunch of extra codes for Potion Craft, which I'll give away. I'll give some of those away in the, in the Discord. So if you're not part of the Pro Jared Discord, Click that link in the description down below to join the Projera Discord because I'm going to give away potion craft keys in there. There's also going to be information about where you can check out more of potion craft. So this game, I've already gotten past all the tutorial stuff. So now I'm like in the game proper. It's all about running a shop. This is my little potion shop. And it's all about selling things to customers to make money. For example, uh, this little soldier guy says, Alchemist, give me a healing potion. A bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work soon. All right, so we'll just make him a healing potion, which thankfully, that's one of the beginner potions, so I know how to do that. What I can do is just take some of this terraria grass, bring that bad boy up, put it into the cauldron along with some winter blossom. As you can see, as I'm getting this prepared, you can see like the pathway of what I'm going to craft actually take place before me. So I know this potion, I know this potion, and there's all these other options around. So I'll throw that into there, and then I'll start mixing it up. And you can see the potion make its way towards healing potion. Just about ready, just gotta get it boiling and boom. Potion done, finish. Hello, sir. I brought you this potion. And he's like, wow, thank you. I'll give you 10 gold for it. Thank you, sir. We have trouble in our village. Invasive beetles have taken up in our wheat fields. They're eating our harvest and they're doing it fast. We need to poison them all or our harvest is completely doomed. Okay, I can, I can do that. Let's see, uh, I can just do that guy, which was, I had saved some, whoops, didn't mean to save that. Oh well, let's see, I made a, that's right. So I can also just click to, Insta brew some potions, so I don't need to go through this process every time. But there you are. Have, to have some mini. I had some strange soup for lunch today, and now I don't feel so good. Do you have anything for a troubled gut? No more gastronomic adventures. I think just a healing potion would do it for this guy. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like just a healing potion would be fine, right? Like. Does that do it for you? Oh yeah, okay. Great, hello ma'am. Are you the new alchemist? I'm a local herbalist and I gather plants to sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? Oh, you sell stuff? What do you got? Ooh, okay. Some tangleweed, I don't have any of that. More terraria, fireball, water bloom, wind bloom. I've got both of those already. So she's not really selling anything I don't have yet. Other than that tangleweed. Sure is expensive though. Uh, let us haggle. Lower the price, ma'am. Nah, nah. And you do this little mini game, which you can use to haggle to lower the prices of items or increase the sale of yours, which is kind of like a little timing-based mini game. As you just kind of hit that ha haggle button inside the like gold, and if you miss it, the scale will like kind of tip back, and then you can finish it. So I brought it down to fifty-five. The it was 68, that's better. All right, do you sell anything besides herbs? I only sell what I know about flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. All right, well, thank you. I need a strong and fast acting potion. Poison, I'd appreciate if you saved your questions for a little, keep your little deal a secret. Your silence would be generously rewarded, of course. Well, so aside from being able to buy different ingredients, you also have your own garden where you could pick your ingredients like boom some more wind bloom fireball some more terraria Ooh, little mushy guys witch mushroom hmm. pick up all these and what is this one weird shroom okay and goblin shroom huh level up talent point you level up how do i do that oh no there are talent trees <laughs> I didn't know about this part. Uh oh. Alright. Alchemy map visibility. Let's see. Additional bonuses appear on the alchemy app to give experience when collected. 
Increase your trading skill to get more profits. Or make haggling better. Let's just do trading. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I kind of want to experiment with potions. Uh, wait, what's... What's on in the basement? This alchemy machine is badly damaged. Find a merchant who can sell you parts for a new alchemy machine. Ooh. So I can fix this eventually. There's my bedroom. Um, I kind of want to experiment. So I also got... This, like, water guy. So... Maybe they can make some stuff happen by mixing water together. Uh, let's see. What do I want to start with? Let's try that water bloom. We'll start with that. If I... Th and then I can go... What? Tangleweed? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me throw that in the cauldron. Uh, so yeah. Terraria brings me down to healing. Which mushroom goes way out there? What if the X's means it needs more steps? So like I can go goblin shroom and then back to healing potion somehow? Let's see. Uh let's try some tangleweed. Ah, there we go. Um that do anything for you? Oh wait, I forgot to mix it. Shit, go back. Nope, nope. Gotta stir it up first. Potion failed. Fuck! I think I made it boil too fast. Cool down. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try... Uh, oh, we'll start with fireball. And then go... Witch room? Alright, now mix it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Eat this bad boy up. Oh, wait. Does this actually make a... Ooh, this doesn't actually make a thing. I think it needs more ingredients. Shoot. Um, More fireball! <laughs> Oop, nope, not that guy. Mix that up. Ah, there's a potion right there! How do I... How can I get to it? More fireball? More fireball. <laughs> this is just like cooking. You just kind of throw stuff together. Oh, oh. Wait, go back. Shoot. Go back. No. Go back. Undo. Mm -hmm. Now heat it up. Ah, I made a light potion? Oops. Oh, uh. Uh. Put that way in my... Inventory. There we go. Sorry, what did you want? A fast-acting poison? Does a weak poison count? Can I put this in the... Nope. All right. Um, so it looks like as you're making this, you need to, like, avoid the skull. So, like, as you're putting ingredients in, they're, like, kind of making your pathways, which is neat. And what the motor does is basically makes the different ingredients twice as effective. So you can like travel farther. So that's fascinating. So it's less about like specific ingredients and more kind of making your own pathways. Let's see. Uh, so I need to make a potion of fire and a potion of frost. Reach a popularity level of two. So I need to do like one more. Um, I guess I'll just do a normal Poison potion? Let's see if that guy likes it. Um, like one of these. Um, this is weak. Does that do it for you? He does like it. Give me more money. On account that I have very little money. Oops. And, ha, 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 ha. 14, not bad. It looks like 15 is gross. It's gonna max out. Good enough. Oh, reputation negative 12? Uh oh. Hello, I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental tormenting a mountain village. An ordinary sword is useless against elementals, but if you give me a fire potion, I'll coat my blade with it and take that elemental down. Fire potion, yeah, no problem, coming right up. Uh, fire... Um... Maybe two fire. Maybe two fire? Uh, uh, uh ooh, what's that? Is that it? Can I reach it there with more of this guy? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, maybe that. Ah! Did it! Just like a plan. Fire potion. Easy. You're welcome. Ooh, yes, I know. Give me more money. Cash, cash, cash. Cash, cash, key. 20 gold. 21! Sold! Plus three. I don't think I should have made that guy that bad poison. Um, it turns out people talk. <laughs> what a coincidence! Command sent me to fight an elemental too! But this one is a fire elemental. It's got me into the habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately and starting fires. Do you have anything that can cool him down? I can easily make that with... Wait. You want a frost potion though. Well, I can start with water. I don't know if going water to water is right. How would you... How would you change... Water to ice? Maybe... Maybe if I combine the water with wind, because it says the wind bloom, use it like a fan to cool off. That could kind of work, right? Nope. With you there. Alright, we'll start off with the wind, and then we'll go water. Let's try it that way. Yeah, then go water. There we go. And then some more wind. What is that? What does this mean? Is that good? Then maybe I can go just a little bit more water. And yeah, right there. Like that. Mana potion! Mana potion! Shoot! Okay, okay, let me think. If I go... Start... Ooh, what if I start with Terraria? Unmortar, so it goes down first. And then I just go... Water? So water? Yeah, get around the little danger skulls. There we go, so close. One more water. Oh, dang it. Uh, I just realized if you, like, line it up perfect, you can make it, like, a level 2 potion. Neat. What's this guy? Potion of Frost! There we go. No one needed. Hey, boom! There you go. Um, I sp had to spend some efforts on this for useless mana potion, so you're gonna have to give me more money for this. Oh, I'm sorry. Save the village? What's it worth to you? Would you say it's worth, perhaps, mm, 18 gold? Next! Oh. Looks like we're done for the day. All right, go to bed. Come back the next day. Any more ingredients? All right, what's grown? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Ooh, what's this guy? Brown mushroom. The mushrooms are quite bitter. Best used in potions for disobedient children. All right, we need more of that, that's for sure. Got another talent point. How about the... Uh, let's do map visibility. Now that I understand the potency of that, of being able to see where I'm going with my making. All right, come on in. Hello, fisherman. I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off the hook, but the fish had some teeth. It bit me on the palm and flopped back in the water. Now my hands are swollen. Oh, you just need a healing potion. Easy. And ding. No problem, sir. There you go. Your shop has become more popular. Yay! With each new chapter, new visitors, order types, potion bases, merchants, and purchasable items appear. Continue to complete the goals in the alchemist's path to unlock the full potential of your alchemy equipment. Yeah, I want that. I finished digging up stumps on my field and was planning to burn them to fertilize the soil with ash. But then, as luck would have it, it started raining today and all the stumps got soaked. I need to plow the, the field this week. Help me out. Wait. What kind of potion do you want? You're digging up stumps and you're planning to burn them? Do you need a fire potion? Oh, I didn't save the fire potion. Dang it. That's fine. I mean, it's just... I don't want to make it just a bunch of these guys. Fire. Fire. Ooh, maybe I can get him a nice level 2 one. I'll pay more money for that. Oops, sorry. And... 
Dang it, not quite. <laughs> it's fine. You'll buy it, right? I assume this is what I want. Would this burn it properly? It would. Good. More money, please. Boom, 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 boom. Drinks and sausages. Isn't that worth more money to you? I have so many cares and worries every day. I wash, cook, shop, and look out for the children. I can spend all day on my feet and not sit down for once. Because of that, my feet are covered in calluses and corns. Ooh, I should go... I should try to make a good healing potion. Yeah. Let's see if I can't make a level two. Weak healing potion? More like good-ass healing potion. Level two. <laughs> yeah, not weak, just regular type potion of healing. Bam. Pay money for it. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I know you're complaining you have to do all that stuff, but this isn't free. More money. Nice. Got another star for my popularity. Plus 10% to the price of potions? Sick. It's nice to see new faces in these parts. I suppose you're the new alchemist? Wonderful. I'm the local mushroomer. Ooh, what do you got? See, brown mushrooms, green mushrooms, shadow chanterelles, and red mushrooms. I have 200 gold. Can I? I can sell you stuff too. Like, you'll pay me extra for my weird room. Uh, I want this big, thick red mushroom. Not paying full price for it, though. Make it cheaper. Much better. 59? Yeah, I'll pay 59. I'll try some green mushroom, too. I make all kinds of crazy potions. Or, like, one of them. Get it down to 29? Looks good to me. Thank you, sir. Hello! A very strange guest has come to our hotel. He says he has a great fear of fire and refuses, even refuses candles. However, there demands light in his room. Do you like replace candles? I just happen to have this laying around. Thank you. Three robbers attacked me yesterday. They wanted my money, but couldn't find me, so they made a good beating instead. But I did have money on me. I just hid it in a safe place. Though now I have to spend the money on a healing potion. Hmm. You have money, you say? Ooh, wait. Uh... Do I still have that? Let's make good healing potion. If you have money, you'll pay for the good stuff, right? More money. money. I can get up to like 24. Ah, 23 is good enough. Ah, uh, I'm the local sorceress. Or witch, if you like. Why? Why would you need... Why would a witch need poison? Sometimes our witch recipes call for poison and human blood. Ah! Uh, last time I did this, people got upset. I'm gonna say no. I don't care. <laughs> Be mad at me all you want! I'm gonna keep experimenting. Uh, let's see, where can I... I haven't gone down this direction a whole lot, so maybe we can try... something down there. Let's see. How did I get to the poison? I guess we'll start off with some terraria. Go from terraria and then go fireball. I'm gonna go past that, though. I want to go, like, kind of down to the left. Let's throw some more terraria in there. Uh-oh. I'm getting into danger zones. Um... That brown mushroom would kind of go around the skulls. I think it might be enough to mess up my potion. More terraria! Okay, yeah, I'll get you out of there. Uh, using my weird shroom. Watch, so I can just careful. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, two, two, two. Finish it. What is it? Uh, I made ooh some stone skin. Sick. That was rules. Someone would pay money for that. Uh, what other weird stuff can I do? Let's see, how about... I want to try going... So they've got... Only one thing goes to the right. Um, 
one thing that goes up. Three things that go down, and then whatever the heck this goblin room is gonna do for me. Or this weird room. So maybe I can go down here then to this side. I'm getting low on ingredients, so I don't know how much more I can do this. I do want to give it a try. Can I put more than one in here? Oh, I can! I don't know if that was a good choice. Then what's down there? Find me what's down there, green shroom. <laughs> Whoop. Danger. So you can pour in some water, which will slowly bring the potion back. That's neat. And then I can keep going that way. Just to dilute it a little bit more. Uh... More to the right. More to the right. So there's a potion. How can I get to it? With these ingredients, it would take a bit. Now, nah, I'm just gonna throw some brown mushroom in there. Whoop! Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, let's get away from those skulls. We are on a potion journey. What? I don't know what the whirly pool means. I'm quite curious, though. I assume it's bad? Maybe it isn't. What if I try to go straight up through it? And see what happens. Alright, no idea. Come on. Oh, hello there. Oh, I that totally reached. Messed it up. Uh. Oh, dang it. Go back. Just a little bit more water. There we go. Okay. What potion is this? Oh, rich harvest? Interesting. There's gotta be an easier way to make that potion than what I just did. I used, what, six water blossoms and three wind blooms? So if I, like, I could save that recipe. But, like, there's got to be a better way to do it. So I'm not wasting ingredients. Look how big this potion map is, by the way. And this is just for water-based potions. I bet you can get other stuff. Crazy. No one in the shop. Guess let's go to bed again. Some more ingredients. Ooh! Sulfur shelf. Neat. Hello. Do you need a harvest? Oh. Enchanted paper. To expand my recipe book? 190? No thanks. Out of my office. I'm here to make money. To brew a beer that worms your bones on even the coldest days. You need liquid fire? That is no problem, my dude. I didn't save that. Right, right on up. Just right on up. Here. Right on up. Right on up. Make it make a level two. Guess it needs a little bit more to make a level two. Um. Okay. Good. Bam. Cash. My son was playing with friends in the forest and twisting his ankle jumping from a tree. Try some stone skin. I don't need this potion. Rich harvest? Mana? Oh, that's made her mad! <laughs> Alright. That's fine. I heard mermen flee at the sound of thunder. Oh, you want like a noise potion? I got for stone skin. Nope. Let's see, my. I have to create two potions, two different effects. Reach a popularity level four, create a potion of lightning? Or a potion of lightning, where would I be? No idea. Ah, there you go. This is a this is a quick look at potion craft. This game is very cool. I really like how much experimentation it provides because you can literally just find your own way to create potions rather than having like a very rigid recipe list that you have to follow. Although I'm sure there's means of making very 
efficient ones. Like, like I said, that one potion they made, that rich harvest one, like, that was not very efficient. And I'm sure there's ways to do that, which I think is super cool. And again, I'll be giving away a code to this. Huge thank you to Potioncraft for sponsoring this video. Also check out the Steam link in the description. That way you can go and check out the game for yourself, available on Steam with more updates and more potions coming and all that. But yeah, this is cool. I really like this. And as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.